So can I use the machine for half an hour? I can't put anything down in this house for five minutes. Can Chaz and me have the car this evening? So it's all right if I use the machine? No, I'm finished with it. So can Chaz and me have the car? No, and don't say why can't you have the car. Why can't we? Because we haven't renewed the insurance. I have got an interview first thing in the morning. So why don't we renew the insurance? Because we haven't any money. So why can't Chaz stay the night then? Mm. Practice in your room. If you make the supper, I can be finishing with the machine. If you're making the supper, I can be using the machine. Can't hear. I said, why can't you stay? Do something with your vegetables, broccoli in the freezer. I said, if you're making the supper, don't play that thing on the stairs. We can't hear ourselves think. The machine. And don't say Mark's because he wasn't told to make Parents' Day. Where is it? It's my money. Don't get hysterical. I, I can't get to anything. I can't do anything. Everyone's always in the way. I'm always getting hysterical about money. Because if I don't have your discs, I can't work. If I don't work, we can't. Eat. Get away from there. I can finish with it. Why is everyone always in here all the time? Because it's the living room. It's someone at the door. Just everyone, go away. Calm down. You are not going to play that thing in here. Get out. She complains if I stay in my room. Yes, because you lie in bed till four in the afternoon. Mum, it's my year off. Oh, Jessica, if I hear that one more time, I'll walk out of this house and never come back. I struggle and struggle to keep this place going. Can't even do as I like on my year off. There's no support from anyone. Lorna, will you stop shouting? it sounds better on the stairs. Then leave home and find a house of your own to practice in. Shouting doesn't help. It just makes everything worse. Well, don't you shout at me, then. And don't slam doors. Why don't you all grow up? Also, there's someone at the door. I'll go, I'll go. And he's not staying, so get that absolutely straight. I can't have any more people in this house. Oh, hello. And don't tell him he can come to supper because he can't. It's not Chaz. He had supper here last night and the night before. He's moving in. I'm sorry, but I am not having it. Hello. I told you. Remember me? Yes. Jamie. Right. I'm just passing, so... Come in. I was really going to say hello and... Drink or something. Five minutes. Well, 20 years. Is it? Well, more than. And this is your... Daughter? Daughter. Well... Jessica? And Mark, my son. Son! My God! Oh. So. Well. <laughs> unbelievable. <laughs> Kiss, yes? <laughs> Lovely as ever. Lovely as ever. Oh, hello. I'm Jamie, Jamie Rivers. I used to be in love with your wife. I thought you were in love with Nicola Hepworth. This is Ian. Uh, yeah, hello, Ian. I was, then with you. No, then with Mary, someone. Very briefly. <laughs> we were at university together. I don't remember you, do I? No. Anyway. Rice. As long as Chaz doesn't turn up and pinch it. <laughs> you really haven't changed at all, has she? I've kept all your stories, your poems, I've got them in a file somewhere. So, what can I offer you? Nothing. Uh, oh, some mineral water. No, Nicola gave me your address. I ran into her outside the Savoy. Uh, there's no mineral water, I'm afraid. Tomato juice, uh, tonic water, anything. I'm not staying. 
It's supposed to be down on the coast for people there with a boat. I thought I might pop over to France, so uh, I think there might be some orange squash in the refrigerator. Wonderful. Terrific to see you again. Sit down, anyway. Ah! You're still writing, then? Not really. I've always expected to see you in the bestseller list. I haven't missed anything, have I? No. <laughs> and you? Well, you know what the city's been like? Up, down... And up again. <laughs> Money's not everything, Lorna. Go and help Daddy find the orange squash, will you, love? Why can't he find it himself? So, grown-up children. How about you? No, 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 no. Not married? Married, yes. Married. Married, all right. Help Daddy. Please. No, not everything at all, Lorna. Money, not by any means. Oh, you are, though, Lorna. Lovely as ever. You are! Oh, good. You look a bit... a bit tired. Mm, well... <laughs> yes, well, I, uh, I haven't slept much these last few weeks. Why? What's the matter? Nothing. You know, just, um things. So? What brings you here? <laughs> Lorna, this is ridiculous. And this is the silliest thing I've ever had to say in my life. <laughs> I've left my wallet at home. I know, but the beeper went and no petrol I felt in my pocket, no wallet, no cash, no credit cards, nothing. Seven o'clock, the banks are shut. <laughs> Then I saw a sign, West Byfleet, and I thought, hold on, there's something familiar about that name. <laughs> I know, I know, I know, after 20 years of... God, it, it, though it, it is actually great to see you. <laughs> no, it is, it is really, Lorna. I, I, I was in love with you, you know, you never noticed. <laughs> so, <clears throat> how much? Well, um... Even 50 quid would be a tremendous help, or, or, or 25, or, or, or 10. <laughs> what, well, you're short as well. Jamie, how much do you actually need? About 17 million. There it is. Nine pounds, I couldn't find it. Actually, nine. I mean, if you could spare it. Save my life. You have to stay to dinner first. Well, that's very sweet of you, oh, Lorna. Go on, we'll never see anyone these days. After dinner. <laughs> yes? Sit down. Change for you, too. No one knows you're here. No one's going to bother you. Someone's finished the orange squash. Well, as long as you're not thinking of inviting him to dinner. Don't worry, I'll do it. I don't remember being consulted about this. I can't have my friends to supper. So why is it all right for you? Maybe I thought you wanted to use the machine. I realise I'm just a passenger at the moment. But I should like to know when we have other passengers joining us. So why is it all right for you to have people? Because he's rich, you moron. He's not going to give it to us, though, is he? Moron. He might. Mum plays her cards right. What? I'll buy you a new horn. No, no. I'm not going to get started on that particular subject. Oh, but what's a couple of thousand pounds to him? Mum's a rich lover. You can buy us all presents to shut us up. Nothing I can do. I shouldn't think so. Very peaceful here, is it? Yeah, it's had a rather hectic few weeks. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. You're not a writer, are you, Ian? Not of poems or stories, I'm afraid. Just job applications. Sorry. No, I simply wondered. There's a slight rush, you see, because I've just been informed I've got an interview in the morning. You may wonder why having an interview in the morning means there's a rush to write out applications for five more jobs tonight. 
No, no, no. I'll tell you all the same. It's to give me something to take my mind off it tomorrow. I mean, off sitting there doing an interview for a job I know perfectly well I'm not going to get. Hmm. Anyway, if he's staying to supper, then says Chaz. No, he's not. Why not? Shush. Why not? Because this is different, because you see Chaz every day, and this is someone I haven't seen for 20 years. When you haven't seen Chaz for 20 years, then yes, all right, he can stay to supper. Until then. Oh, sorry. I was just wondering. Sorry. I was asleep. I don't know what time it is. Only he said sort of five minutes. And I was just sort of wondering if... Hold on. Mark! Which one is it? No idea. Mark! What? Julie? No. Yuckiest still. Just get rid of her before supper, all right? Also, he doesn't steal cars. Chaz doesn't steal cars. Mark just said that how many times? You keep your voice down. Oh, didn't he come in here? I thought he came in here, sort of jacket and things. For him. I was in the car. I was asleep. You want Jamie? I don't really know where this is. West Byfleet. Oh, right. I was telling him the story of my life. His lady friend's here. Yeah, sorry about that. He's asleep. Asleep? I don't know whether to wake him. Actually, he was asleep in the car. I woke up somewhere. We were on the wrong side of the road, and there were all these cars coming straight towards us. <laughs> what? What's happening? Your friend's here. <laughs> here! Is he like a big man, dark glasses? Hey, me, what's going on? Just tell me. Not a him, it's a her. Her? Yes. Oh, God, no. No, no, not her. Not her. No, no. Ah, oh, you. Sorry, only you said five minutes. Uh, right. Um. <laughs> right. <laughs> no. No, I woke up. I thought, um, uh, oof, bad dreams. Bad dreams. <laughs> um, right, this is an old friend of mine, Lorna. Lorna, this is Georgina. Another old friend of mine. And this is... Ian. Ian. Uh, listen, Lorna's invited us to dinner. Oh, right. <laughs> Do you mind? I mean, two of us? Of course. Lovely. Right, some stuff in the car I'd better bring in. Uh, where's the key? The key? <laughs> Hey! Out of there! What are we looking at? 50k? 55? Uh, why? Making an offer? Looking it for you. Oh, really? Leave your key in. Round here. Yeah, very kind of you. Friend of Mum's. 50,000 quid and they're sitting there with a the key in it. She says stay to supper. Why not? I'll tell you how you make money, Chas. You take risks. Money. I don't mind taking risks. Well, you don't mind taking risks, Chaz, because you think it'll never happen. Let me tell you something. It may happen. It may happen. Sometimes it does happen. You take your money. Hmm? All you've got. Nine pounds. Nine million pounds. You lay it on the table, and if you lose, you find some fool to lend you some more. You put it back on the table. Not just your money, Chaz. 
Your home. Your life. I'm talking about the big game. Where's the real money happening these days? Hmm? I'll tell you. Eastern Europe. Big out there, Chad's very big. Big game, big players. All the multinationals moving in, the old party bosses with their millions tucked away in Switzerland, the old secret police, the mafia, not just one mafia. I'm talking about a dozen different mafias. You get in the middle of that lot, Chaz, and you might wish you were sitting right back here again. Well, I hope you're taking all this in, Mark. What? It's a free masterclass in high finance. Georgina's fascinated. No, I was just wondering, is there a phone here? Quieter in the bedroom, though. You could buy a new French horn for Mark. They cost £2,000. Mm, right. What? Oh, for God's sake. Sir, Jessica. I said. But not on the stairs. Uh, his practice. Yes, Chaz. You earn whatever you can lay your hands on. Believe me. Done this for about 20 years either. I'm sorry, we can't afford to get the dishwasher repaired. No, it's wonderful. You know, doing things, getting my hands on the Not the scratcher, not, not that one. Hmm? It's, you know, being out of my life for a bit. You know, being in someone else's life. I've got to get up at five. Go to bed then. I thought you said Chaz wasn't have supper. He's not staying the night. No one's staying the night. I should have got married. Settled down. Had children. Done something real. Yes, well, if you knew what it was actually like. I heard you all. I was standing on the doorstep. It was so... I don't know. So real. Well. I'm going to have to say goodnight. Mm, up at the crack. Well, good luck with the, um, whatever it is. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Well, if you're ever passing this way again. Yes. In another 20 years. <laughs> nice man. Anyway, I thought you did get married. Yes. <clears throat> I should have married someone like you. I'm never too late. Who do you know who's like me? 
No one. No one. Only you. Oh, sad. <laughs> yes. Hold on. It's here. Where's my Is furious, and this kind of sun person who plays the French horn. <laughs> plays it, plays it. <laughs> Strange, spooky, suburban things. <laughs> I can't explain, but it's like one of those villages where people disappear into the house and they're never seen again because there are all these weird people, you know, kind of sawing them up and boiling them down or something. <laughs> it's all pretty sad, actually, isn't it? What? Life. Sad? No. I don't have time to think about it. How about happy? You had time to think about whether you're happy. No. Nope. No, you haven't, or no, you're not. Get more washing up, perhaps. You've got your children? Yes. Your husband? Yeah. No? Yes. Yes. And you've got... What's her name? Georgina. <laughs> oh, Jamie, come on. She's just a friend, Lorna. Oh, I see. She is, you know, she's just someone. You know. Right. So, let's get on with it. That's what we do, is it? Just get on with it. You want to? No, no, I'll just clear the Oh, no. And she said you'd actually, you know, said. Sorry. Just get them off the bed. Sorry. No, sorry, just someone you know. What? She said? Well, you mean kind of he said she said. Don't move, don't move. What? I just want the... Uh... Listen, I'll call you back. No, no, the letter. The letter. What? No, no. Sorry. Sorry. Stay. I was just clearing the bed for you. Easy, you guys, easy. Oh. <laughs> Never you mind. I was simply clearing the bed. Oh. Get on with your practice. Sorry. Practice, my son. Practice. Yes. I'm going to bed. Do you remember the bucket of ice cream? No. Yes, you do. It's on the roof of the law library and it melted in the sun. So you poured it over some wretched man underneath? Simon Hillary. He's dead. He died last year. 
delayed shock. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Right. Uh, nine pounds. Okay. Now, here you go, please. Everything else gets knocked over. Barbados. What? A friend of mine's going to stay there. Separate guest bungalow. You could be entirely on your own. Hold on. You could work there. You could write. You could. You could bring Ian. Bring. Bring the children. I've got the money. And as soon as I've been to the bank, Lorna. I was in love with you, Lorna. All that last term. Oh, get in, get in. So, Barbados, yes? Yes, yes. Off you go. Goodbye. It was here. I left it here. The car? Oh, no. Lorna. Lorna, hold on. Lorna, please. sort of taken by some people I've had dealings with. You mean repossessed? Something like that. It was on higher purchase? Sort of. It was the company's car. Me, the company, completely different things. Yes, well, you told me. 17 million pounds. <laughs> you thought I was joking. Not really. And your wallet? <laughs> wallet. Wallet. Oh, yes, wallet. Here. Well, there's nothing in it, though. I mean, no cash, no credit cards, no nothing. No, this is all I've got left. Nine pounds. Nine pounds fifty-four. And the nine pounds are yours. It's cash flow, Lorna. It's all a question of cash flow. You're owed money, you borrow against what you're owed. It must have been following me. I'll make up the sofa. In here. Nothing. All I've got left in life. A few mementos. 
funny how things work out. Anyway, tomorrow you'll be on the boat. Yes. If I can just get across the channel, I've got friends there, places to go. Couldn't take the ferry, go on the train like everybody else? Mm, not really. You're not wanted? No, 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 not... not wanted, no. I'll get the bed clothes. Now what? Nothing. Go back to sleep. What are you looking for? Your old literary works? They have gone. Go on. See you tomorrow. They wouldn't mind if I stayed. Yes, they would. Go on. Hey, clothes. Lovely. Sorry. I mean, you know, all this. No, no. I'm sorry. I mean, this friend of mine, she knows him, only she had to go off to her martial arts. So I got sort of left with him. And he said he was desperate to get away. And I said, well, I know these people who've got a boat. And he said, right, I've got my car outside. Oh, I see. When was this? About half past four. Today? It all just kind of suddenly happened. Right. I'll make up the sofa thing. Oh, I can't... Sit down. Insurance claims. You're typing out insurance claims. You realise there's just this one sofa thing to sleep on? Nothing to do with me, of course. Don't worry, we'll sort something out. Jamie. No, not that one. Sorry, we don't use that one. It's blocked, I should have said. Oh, sorry. We're waiting for the man. Sorry, it's just upstairs. Sorry. Sorry. But the stories, Lorna. What happened to the stories? Never mind the stories. Listen, in the morning... We'll walk, we'll hitchhike. But the stories you used to write... Hadn't you better go home and sort things out? Home? What home? The car, that was my home. I've been living in that car for the past six weeks. Living in it, sleeping in it, working in it. Everything I possess was in that car. Suits, files. That is literally all I have left in the world. But Lord, I love it. University. At university at university. What has that got to do with anything now? I knew you were spying. Oh. Sorry. Mark. Sorry. There's no key. Mark did something with it. You want to get in here? No, no. You want Mark? Mark? No! Mark! 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 Why don't you have speech therapy? Oh, sorry. Sorry. I was just... Uh... I thought you'd gone. No. Sorry. All right? Fine. They went. Dad knows about this, does he? Comic taste in women, your friend. <laughs> I don't mean you. I mean the other one. What was her name? You can switch the light on, I'm not asleep. Mind you, she's got a pretty comic taste in men. <laughs> well, no, I could see his charms. It's not all just money. I don't know why you're sulking. Well, 
responsible for your ending up being stuck with me, I suppose. Anyway. Let's get some sleep. You can see it all so clearly when you look back. All the little things, how they all added up. You didn't think about it when it happened. You did this, you did that. But all the time, it was adding up. Adding up. Like a long column of figures. Then suddenly... There you are. It's all totaled up. That's your life. That's you. What? The bed. Oh, yours. No. I was just listening to see if the bathroom is empty. What do you think I'm doing? I'm creeping off to meet some old girlfriend in the loo. Won't be long. Oh. Listen, I've got to get up at five. I'll be slower if you just stand there. I'm always hanging around outside. What's that supposed to mean? Hmm? I'm not coming out while you're standing there. For God's sake. Trying to find, you know, the bathroom. The bathroom? You don't want a cup of coffee or anything? Well, not really. No, okay. I just thought, since you're here. Sorry. Sorry, you want the bathroom? It's in there. Oh, in there! Right. Thank you. I mean, if you want a cup of coffee or anything later. Hey, come in, come in. Don't worry about me. Dad, I never believe it. Hey, come in. Our family, why not? He's here. I was just dropping off. In the bathroom, in his underpants. Ian, listen. You told him you could stay. Just keep calm for a minute. I thought he agreed. Listen. Doesn't anything mean anything anymore? Yes, you listen to what I am saying. No. Well, it doesn't matter what you're saying, because it doesn't mean anything. I thought, so, you're here. I'm, you know, sorry, only... No, fine, good. Your feet, the glass. I'll clear it up. I'll do it. Sorry. 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 Wait, wait. What? Stop the 
doing anything silly. Sorry. Aspirin. I was looking for some aspirin. Followed it. <laughs> 